is there a public release yet for this? Not that I'm aware of, but uh, Hoverbats is in chat. And I think... We'll find out. Hoverbats says, Vinny, are you secretly the extraterrestrial known as Norts in a human skin suit? No, but I am an intra-terrestrial stuck in a human skin flute. Gotta let the intro play. All right, let's um, let's try to finish this if possible. Vinny, did you see the thing? Can you comment on the thing so I can be validated about the thing? Um, yeah, that multiverse game looks kind of cool, though I have no idea why Arya Stark is in it. It almost feels a little wrong. I mean, yeah, if they own the IP, that's fine. Do they own The Sopranos? Because that's HBO as well. Like, could we get Tony Soprano... ...to join the fight? Like Scoob! Who is this man? He eats as much gabagool as I do, Scoob! Yeah, it looks cool. Again, the Aria thing is weird because... I don't know, there's just something really tragic about her character and... Before she turned into a superhero, I'm talking about later seasons. At no point reading those books did I think to myself, Hmm. Maybe one day Arya Stark could be in Smash Brothers or a Smash-like game. Vinny, huge audio desync. Alright. How about now? It's good now? It's still bad? Perfect? Worse. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, okay. It's funny because it requires different values of offset these days. How about now? Much better. Bad. It's very desynced. Hmm. What happens first? The sword? Animation or the sword sound? The animation happens first? So you see the sword, and then, then you hear it. Okay. Um... Thank you, OBS, for being wonderful, and thank you, XSplit, for also being wonderful. How's this? Worse? Vinny, you went the other way. Oh. Negative 1,000. You can't do a negative 1,000 offset. How about now? Perfect. 
perfect fixed. Check this out, chat. That's negative 900 milliseconds. It's funny because this only started happening when I imported a starting soon scene that Elizarin made. No offense, Elizarin, it's not your fault, but, you know. Yeah, I imported a scene into OBS, and then that happened. Oh, anyway, uh, dungeon number five? Or is it six? Six. Did you set the source to deactivate when it's not visible? Uh... No? Yeah, I haven't really changed anything. It just kind of happened when I imported the scene. Uh, no. It's using resources then? Is that what's happening? So how do I do that, Does Do, do you know? Because that actually may... One interesting thing, though, is that I removed the scene altogether and this stuff still happened. So... It's- it's a source with many graphics. Like, many, many graphics. It's this one. So how do I- how do I disable that option? So that it's totally deactivated. Sorry, everybody. I know this is not fun to watch troubleshooting live, but... Yeah. Can you click on properties? All right, here's what you gotta do. I, I cannot. Here's what you need to do. You need to go into Windows G. Um, yeah, there's... I'm not sure... Can I go into properties for this, the, the whole scene? Because, no, I can't. Um... Talk to me after class. Okay, I will. <laughs> That'll make things easier. It will be per element. Oh, okay. If I have to do it per element. All right. Yeah, it's been very annoying. And I can't use... So I have to use OBS for a lot of stuff. I can't use XSplit because it, it just... Error messages out. So I'm, I'm stuck with OBS, and now OBS is less than ideal, so it's been really annoying. Anyway. Anyway, hello, everybody. Uh, so yeah, what, what else? So, there was that. Morbius is now available on streaming. So you can morb in the privacy of your own home. If you so choose. And I still do not plan to watch this movie. The only scene I've seen at this point of Morbius is Matt Smith dancing and turning into a fucking werewolf. My name is Roger Morbian, and I am something of a scientist myself. My friend Matt Smith is dying and needs an ass transplant, which is why I am coming to you live now via satellite to raise the funds on Kickstarter and coffee so that we can get Matt Smith a new asshole. Have you watched Multiverse of Madness yet? No. It's been- the weather's been nice, and I have not had any desire to sit in a movie theater. Did you hear about what Morbius is called in Asian countries? Is it called a Batsu game? Because when you go, you're, you're getting punished?
Zane Auto. That's what happens when when you're in the movie theater. Not everyone's gonna understand what I'm talking about, but that's all right. Matsumoto would. I really need to rewatch um, the Gaki no Notsukai stuff because that stuff is fucking great. I forgot about that. Well, no, 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 Des, I fixed the audio with, um, the desync has been compensated for, but it has, sometimes it's negative 400, sometimes it's negative 900, sometimes it's negative 100. It's so weird and inconsistent. So, I mean, it could be using resources. Let me check my CPU usage. 11%? That seems rather high for... Well, I mean, lately, because I was hitting, like, very, very small levels of CPU usage. Uh, this is 7.4%. It's not high at all, actually. Um, it's OBS and this, and the game. That's actually not high at all, that's fine. I, I think it's just something I can fix with a little bit of patience. All we need is just a little patience. When I was younger, I thought that that was a different guy in Guns N' Roses. I thought that was like, like Grease, you know, because it sounded so different to Axel, because Axel's got that high-pitched voice, like he's very powerful, and then there's some other guy who's like, all we need, I'm like, oh, it's Grease. Or it's Guns, because we got Axel Rose and, you know, John Gunn, I don't know. J J Wait, James Gunn was in Guns N' Roses? Thanks, Nary. I'll, uh, I'll let you know after, because this is... We can figure it out. If, if maybe hiding the sources isn't the solution, then maybe we can figure something out. Uh, uh-oh. Alright, so it's, it's right here. So this dungeon seems to be mostly as is. I, I, there might be little things that I'm not noticing, but that's okay. Also, we have a new emote in chat, courtesy of Drawer Mary. It is a little blob fella emote. So, Hoverbats, you've inspired a new emote with your blob fellas. Just be aware. How come Brian from ACDC pooped his pants so much in your Infernax playthrough? No, Brian was a baby bird, and he needed to be fed by Angus. Ah. Alright, Brian. I got you some, uh, worms. Little bit of berries. You know, I don't need to do the bit. I don't want to gross people out too much. Be gone, devil. There's still three bonus items that I'd like to get. My brothers in Christ, we have acquired the power. Yeah, I mean, it started as the power of peace and love. This Jesus guy was like, I like to sit on a throne of trash. And then somehow along the way that turned into, let's sit on a throne of gold and diamonds. Meanwhile, Jesus was like living in a dumpster, you know, like just eating fucking like wrappers and, and, and garbage. Jesus was like a, a pigeon. And he was encouraging everyone to live like, like, uh, like filthy pigeon people. And then somehow... Somehow, Palpatine returned, and everything changed. Was- that wasn't in the original, where you could actually reflect those. 
That's a nice touch. I, I, don't, I don't think that was in the original. Maybe. That's new. Yeah, I, I just... Sometimes I forget, but that's cool. It's the new shield. Oh, right, 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 right. It, that was probably... I forgot I got a new shield as well. So maybe that's that new shield I got. Also note, I never got the fairy spell. Like the legit one. I'm still turning into a chicken. Which is the funniest shit I've ever seen. So is this where I tell you I saw Sting? You know, the musician. And he fucking wrestled... Sting the wrestler. No, it was, um, it was a very good concert. I saw him in Atlantic City. There is no more fairy, only cock. <laughs> okay. I, yeah, I did. Kremps, why did you as well? I went to see Sting because I I hate myself, I guess. It was a birthday gift to myself. You were there? Oh, no shit. That's cool. He was good, right? I mean, as reasonably good as a 70-year-old rock star could be. His voice was good. The band was good. All the police songs he did were, like, high energy and close to the original arrangement. He didn't, like, jump on a loot and bore people. The new songs were fine. They were not amazing, they weren't bad. And then he did, um, Englishman in New York, and everyone went fucking mental. It was... kinda... It was kinda great, actually. But, of course, Joe... Uh, was making fun of me for going to see Sting in Atlantic City. He was like, oh, oh is he gonna have tantric sex on stage for four hours? <laughs> um... It's funny... I thought to myself, I know Vin likes to come to AC, I wonder if he's here. Well, here's the thing. I'm kind of over Atlantic City. Truly. Like, I just left the next morning and went home. I, I stayed for some of the day, saw Sting, and then just- I was like, I'm good. I've had my fill. But, it was nice. It was- it was nice to treat myself to a concert. I enjoyed it. Um, hey, Hoverbats, what the fuck am I doing here? But the boardwalk- there's better boardwalks in New Jersey. Jump plus cock? I forgot about that combination. Nope. Wait, maybe, maybe. Yep, yeah, yep, yep, yep. Oh boy, this is, this is devious, Hover. I don't know. It's a nice little challenge, though. I will say that. Yeah, I just wasn't sure what to do at first. And now I appreciate that a whole lot more. But you need to use both, and you need to jump from the right spot, that's all. But getting rid of the fairy spell... You know, you're gonna have to change a couple things, and, and therefore you did. How many lives do I have? I have, I have plenty. But for, again, you know, seeing McCartney a couple years back, and his his voice is definitely a lot weaker. Sting is in pretty good shape. And the voice is good. It's just, I wish it was the police. I wish Andy Summers and, and Stuart Copeland were there. That's all. 
because they're amazing. But for what it was, it was pretty great. He did uh, So Lonely. He did um, Driven to Tears. He did uh, Message in a Bottle. Every Breath You Take, Stalker Song, you know. But my favorites, King of Pain and um, Wrapped Around Your Finger. He did those too. Oh yeah, Roxanne was done in its original key, somehow, by the way. Some of the stuff they had to lower the key of. I think Message in a Bottle was lowered because, you know, again, as you get older, your voice, like, changes. And, um, especially if you've been singing in a rock band, like, loud music for that long. But... Stuart Copeland is one of the best all-time drummers. I think he's my favorite drummer of all time, actually. So, yes. The drummer they had was good, but... Yeah, it was just a pretty good show, and, um... I was wondering if it was gonna be lame, and I was like, am I gonna be the youngest person in this audience at the young age of 37? And you know what? I was! A lot of silver foxes and, uh, gilfs at the Sting concert. But that's just kind of the vibe he puts out, you know? No, there were- there were people my age and younger, for sure. Like, I think... Maybe just people that walk- that got free tickets, like, for- so that when they pan over to the audience, it doesn't... You know, it doesn't all look like everyone there is an octogenarian. Vinny, do you feel old? Um... Yeah, a little bit. So... I'm waking up super early now. Like, after the concert, years ago, I probably would have gotten, like, another drink and walked around until, like, 3 in the morning. You know... I just went to bed. <laughs> just went to bed. But I like mornings so much more now, because you, you have time to enjoy the sun and the birds, and I record in the mornings. I like breakfast. I, I guess I just kind of, um... I thought I was a night owl, and I, I think I was, but now I think I'm a morning uh, bird. <laughs> is that what it is? Also, this is cool, Hoverbats. I like this. Vinny, you do sound about a hundred right now. Yes. You got a heart next to the experience needed. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what that means, but I guess we'll find out. That, and, and you know, I do get a little bit more tired. I only... I don't sleep... any more or less than I used to, but I will say... that... There are things I just don't have any energy for. And, um... One of the good things about getting older is... Things that used to bother you, bother you less. And you learn more about yourself and all that fun stuff. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. And, uh... Yeah, so I... I guess I kind of feel my age in some ways. That said, I I did just build a Lego set. So. <laughs> yeah. Which one? It was the Star Wars one from... It was the trash compactor scene from A New Hope. <laughs> and it was fun. Anyway, uh, Hover, I see what you did here. You changed the layout of this. Ah! What the fuck? Yo! Yeah, 
You know what? That's evil, but if you have that, that recover fairy, it's not so bad. Oh, no. no. Wondering if I can reflect this. The extra life system is is nice and it helps, but it also does remove a little bit of the the oh shit from that boss, just because like you'd come so far. And then, like, you'd have one life. Now we'll never know. Um, well, here, I, I will ask. Hoverbats, is it possible to reflect that fire? That boss made me rage quit in the OG game. Yeah? No, it's not possible. It looks like you can go to level 9 with your health. Which makes sense, because it stopped at level 8. Normally. I'm aware of Anton Land. I'm gonna check it out. Maybe I'll put together a, a trio of treasures and check it out, you know? I remember the GameCube port of Zelda going to 9. Huh. So I have seven slime fellas. I need... Um... Math. I need five more. I believe I need five more. Um... More ditty of Carmiana when... Uh... Oh, I've been putting it off. I don't know. Soon? So I could go to the Great Palace, but I'd like to get the slimes, as many slimes as I can. I'm gonna head back this way first, but I'm assuming there's probably some slimes up ahead that I missed. Uh, will they show on the map? They will show, okay. Well, here's my other question. There's three optional items remaining, Hoverbats. Can I get a couple clues, perhaps? I'd like to see all the content in this. Remember to talk to the wise men. Uh... Bad memory. Are you just talking about the people that give me spells? Vinny, Biggs, and Wedge are getting their own Star Wars limited series on Disney+. Plus. What? Are you serious? Yeah, if there's no Porkins, then... Never mind. Well, here's what I will say. Kathleen Kennedy uh, recently just said that they realized how much of a mistake it was to try to recast famous actors such as uh, Han Solo and Harrison Ford. That's not the reason that movie failed. So, I mean, I really hope they're not going to CG the actors. 
when, uh, yeah, Ewan McGregor replaced Obi-Wan Kenobi, well, you know, filled the role. Boulders West. No, I thought uh, Alden Ehrenreich did a good job. I think Don Glover did a pretty good job, too. The problem with Solo was The Last Jedi, because people didn't want to see Solo after that, and it came out too soon after it. That, and also, it was just like one of those things where I think the Star Wars fatigue had, you know, set in, and the movie had other issues, for sure, but... I think you can replace actors, and I think you should, and Sebastian Stan should be playing Luke Skywalker, because that way you can do stories with Luke. And, uh... I guess they're gonna have to get... It's funny that she said that there's... You can't replace these actors, and it's like, Hey, we're gonna do a show about these characters from 1977. So you have to replace them. Unless you're gonna do a whole show about CG deepfake, like, actors that aren't really even that famous to begin with. Weird statement, that's all. Just, that's a weird statement, as far as I'm concerned. Learning the wrong lessons? Maybe. It's possible. Sam Jackson's de-aging looked incredible in Captain Marvel. It did. But then when you have someone move around who is 70, you know, like, look at De Niro in The Irishman. Eventually, you kind of just get used to it. But... You know, then you have him, like, kicking a dude. Does anyone have a link to that scene? Well, there's no wise man in here. I mean, I think it can be done in small doses. The Luke Skywalker stuff looked good, and it was only in, like, a couple scenes, and it worked for that. Even if it was still uncanny and the voice was very robotic. But... Doing a whole, like, six episode or more show... I think it's just gonna get exhausting to look at, because your, like, brain is gonna try to process it. Alright, um, boulder to the west, there's, uh, something near the water palace, um, so, okay. I was told there was a boulder to the west. Oh, I see something. So that's where Link was the whole time. Oh, and there's a thing over there, too. Star Wars is just exhausting, says a chat member. It's- it's more the Star Wars conversation. And... Seeing Disney try to turn it into, like, a... A thing that will just persist forever, and ever and ever. But I still very much love those original movies. And I still love the- the lore, and the ships, and the characters. And truthfully... I still do get joy out of it, even if it is just watching people bash Rise of Skywalker. It's just fun. I don't know. So I'm always hoping there's gonna be something good in that universe. Like, Lego Star Wars is a great game. And what else is great? Jedi Fallen Order is great. And I'm very excited for Jedi Fallen Order 2. The Mandalorian is is a really good show. I enjoy. So you just kind of have to pick and choose and hope that your childhood isn't ruined. <laughs> but anyway, let's talk about something that is an amazing prequel. Better Call Saul. New episode. So, weirdly, I've been watching the episodes with Liam Triforce, his brother, and King K. 
like the the YouTuber. It's been kind of fun, but we we discussed the Saul. The Saul connected. And um it's been really good. I, I they are setting up a lot of stuff. I am worried for many characters. And I don't know what the fuck is going to happen. But, uh, this past episode was directed by... Giancarlo Esposito. Oh, here's a bug for you. Yeah, I wonder how many people are gonna get a vacuum by the end of the series. Just makes me... Just kinda curious. But yeah, it's just great. I mean, Barry is great too. Both shows are fantastic. I'd recommend both. And but you know, it depends on which one you're more into. I think Saul is better. I, I just think that Better Call Saul is a masterclass of character development and subtlety, and um, letting the characters' motivations and actions dictate the plot, as opposed to writing these big set pieces to try to get the characters into them. I also still haven't seen the Halo show, but I finally watched the Act Man, I think it was, talk about it. And holy fuck, does it sound bad. What a shame. That thing was announced nine years ago. How the fuck did that happen? It took nine years? removes helmet first episode. Like, maybe they didn't want a repeat of the Mandalorian kind of thing, but that's what the character is. They just wanted to appeal to a wider audience so that people would feel more comfortable watching a show about a space marine. I guess. Meanwhile, you have a show, you have a series, a property that is widely popular. Tens of millions of people love Halo. Why not just, you know, adapt Halo well and take the better story elements and turn it into a good show and have, you know, your audience be the people who love Halo. And if the show is good, maybe new people will come on board. Not only will they play the games, but perhaps they will also watch the show and then purchase the books. Like, you don't need to ch Uh, Alex Kurtzman's production company was involved, of course. But no, I don't really have that much investment, like I said. I even find it kind of funny that the thing that has pissed off gamers is Chief losing his virginity. There's just something really funny about that. So, I'm not gonna watch it, I'm not gonna get upset about it, but I do love a good... I don't know, I, I love a good bit of nonsense. That's why this Mario movie adaptation, Luigi's gonna fuck. This, I thought it was because of the circumstances around it. Dude's in charge of a specific POW, and he fucks her. That sounds worse. You just made that sound actually even worse. Like, how is the writing this bad? On this show? Oh, God. And Cortana watched. Again, I don't know the full relationship between Chief and Cortana. 
because I just didn't follow story. I just wanted to shoot pew pew, but it just sounds awful. So again, if you think this is bad now, follow the internet discourse when the Lord of the Rings show comes out and watch how it'll be ten times worse. Everything must must go. Everything must go. Except Sonic, who they're just keeping true to the character, which is just a fast, smart-talking, chili-dog-eating weirdo. So, hey, um... Hover, wh where's that sl where's that slime? Where's that slime fella? Probably in the torch room. Vinny, you had it right the first time. Oh. I mean, I didn't see it. Try lighting all the lights in the torch room. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, it's a little vague, but I should have been able to figure that out, because it's like... Here's torches in a room, of course. I do like these little puzzles. They remind me of Korok puzzles, but in Zelda 2. Now, if only there was a way to fast exit a dungeon that doesn't involve dying. Actually, a really great quality of life would be a recorder, like, um, or an ocarina, rather. Let's, let's go with that. I thought about adding an exit spell. Yeah, I mean, how much changes the game too much is the real question. How much more could you add without, like, breaking the feel of Zelda 2? and the flow of the game. Though much like, like Zelda 1 even had a warp system, where you could warp around the map. With, um, like rocks, you move rocks and stuff. Just like the rock can move a torpedo. If you were in charge of making a Zelda Hollywood live-action, who would you choose to play the main character? The main characters of my Zelda live-action... film... Not the casting, but let's talk about what the plot would be. Link would be a side character. Okay, it would be about a young, scrappy Impa going through Hyrule, fighting demons, karate, kung fu. Basically, no character, just good karate, lots of kung fu. Um, Link shows up once in a while. Zelda is, I'm sorry, Zelda's new name is John. I'm sorry, <laughs> that just has to be how it is. Zelda's just, you know, we checked with the survey group we did a little research, and people don't know the name Zelda. 
And it's just unfamiliar and scary. Boulders south. The Rock can play Zelda. <laughs> Jared Leto would be in there as Ganon. I'm not saying the show would pander. It wouldn't. It would just be a fucking mess, is what it would be. Oh, and Link has sex with Tingle. And I think that's important. <laughs> Chris Pratt could play Tingle. Link finally, finally loses his virginity to Tingle. Anyway, uh, we can't continue doing this because it's making me angry. Uh, let's, let's continue, however, looking for slime fellas. Whaaa, hover. Hover bat. Uh, help? I'm sorry to continue asking for help, like I'm, I'm consulting the strategy guide, but... Joel wouldn't stop playing the Morbius trailer for 40 minutes in a row. That's nice. Go to Death Mountain. Huh. Just randomly stumbled upon this. I mean, the joke's on me. I had to watch Sting perform live for two hours. At least Joel only had to do four minutes of Morbius. Sorry, 40. doing, but we're gonna do it. Oh, there's- there you go, there's one. Oh, I think I get it. The, uh, the wise men are telling me about the boulders. No, I- listen, I'm- I only joke because Sting is kind of the butt of many jokes, because of his, um, tantric sex and stuff, but- and also, him arranging all of his classic songs on a lute to be like medieval music and just being like... Listen, no one is more enthralled by Sting than Sting. But he can put on a hell of a good show. And I do like his voice. Even to this day, I think he's still got a, a good voice. And King of Pain is one of the best songs. So, I mean, you know, I like the dude. But anyway, uh, wh what was this thing here? The puzzle is in the first room, Vinny. Oh, I thought that was a glitch. Has anyone listened to that Smile album? Because... Holy shit. Cool. That's a cool thing to do. I just wasn't expecting it because I've played this game so many fucking times. And it's like, oh right, there's now a thing there. But for me, that Smile album is like a perfect combination of In Rainbows, Moon Shaped Pool, and just a bunch of really interesting textures, and, and some of the songs are very, like, punky and simple, and yet it manages to retain some simplicity and also be, like, weirdly complex at the same time. I don't know what I'm talking about here, I'm not a professional. 
Okay. Do I have to break these boulders in a certain order? It's too fucking late now. I haven't seen Severance. I wanted to watch it. Punky and simple, but also maintains simplicity. <laughs> You're right, exactly. Vinny, I don't know. I don't like Radiohead. I don't think Radiohead likes... Radiohead. One wise man said west, another said south. Well, hear me out here, um, Hoverbats. Listen. I would absolutely love to go to every wise man in Hyrule and find out which boulders I have to do. But ain't nobody got time for that. So where do I- where do I go? What do I do? I mean, hey, it's there for people who want to do it. You can just mute or, like, um, pause for the next five minutes and... I- I am unwise. Do you remember when... How about ask for more than the power of deduction will do the rest? Hoverbats, I have to play another game tonight. I appreciate you saying so, but I am not- unless there's a fast travel, there's no way I'm going to the, the wise men. I'm sorry. P please <laughs> Please give me the answer. Help. Every save file is randomized. I have no answer. <laughs> All right, never mind. This was me just now. Yes, get fucked. So, my thoughts are as follows, and you don't have to take this as a critique. It's not. But, it takes so goddamn long, and it's so cryptic, that I think a lot of people are just not gonna do it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe there are people that will do it, but it's just... If it... Yeah, I mean, Zelda 2 does not have a lot of easy ways to get around. You just kind of have to walk there. If there was some kind of fast travel, maybe like an ocarina, I'd be more open to it. But as it is, I'm just going to pass. Uh, Alright, let me see. Hopefully that's not a blob, fella. It's cool. You can trash the game as much as you want. It's constructive criticism. Well, I mean... You've made the game better. Let's just be honest. You have made this game, this stanky video game, better. So, I like it. Yet... I'm definitely not gonna be, uh, spending my time... ...trying to figure out, uh... ...which boulders to do, and then, then I have to walk all the way back to the boulders. May I ask what the reward is? A hat. A red ring. What does it do? Permanent protect spell. Oh, cool. And then the Protect spell gives you even more defense. 
Which, I mean, it's a nice bonus, but unless there's an Ultima weapon or, or like, Ruby weapon in this game, on some level, I'm not sure how useful it would be. Oh my god. Vinny, you also get a gun. Oh fuck. left. Okay, um... Is there a slime here? Or a blob? Or whatever? Slime friend? It showed on the map. I don't know if that was a, uh, a red herring, or if it just represented that. Look at the North Castle East exit room. Okay. Is Dark Link fixed in this game? That is the million dollar question. The, sorry, the more billion dollar question. I think one of the reasons I like this game so much is the experience point system. It was very addictive. I would play through and just, like, level up my stuff kind of early before even going to a dungeon. I would just, like, go into a forest and fight moblins. Fixing Dark Link would help. Uh, would be pretty complicated, however, the slime reward helps tremendously. Okay. Um... Okay, so North Castle... Mor- <laughs> Morblins. <laughs> North Castle East Exit Room. Huh. What the fuck? Okay. That's pretty easily missable. But I don't think you should change it. I think that's kind of cool. And especially if you have the hint there of this is just a pee bag. Oh. Oh my god. I mean, it's only a pee bag, so I... I, I guess it's, it's cool that the challenge is here, but boy, does this require, like, very interesting precision. Eternal suffering loop. Okay, so this is the exit area. Uh, let's look for more things.
Um... Okay. Uh, I see it. Notice that you're the only one- like, the chat didn't see it either. Alright. Okay. Okay. Oh wait, no, someone saw it. Someone saw it. Vinny, this is my wife's favorite game. Is there a way to get this PC version so I can play it for her? Play it with her for her birthday. Uh, yeah, I believe so. Soon. I think Hover will probably release this. Wow. I mean, I don't even know what to say. Hey, this looks nice. I think it's awesome. I think people are gonna have a hard time finding that. I, I think keep it because it's so awesome. And that's like classic video game secret shit, and I like it. Even if it- <laughs> even if it's extremely hard to figure out what to do because... You might say, oh, well, alright, that cloud's a little weird. You might attack the cloud, you might not get any results and then just move on. Could be a darker gray cloud, personally. Yeah, maybe. That's some playground rumor shit. Yeah, pretty much. I think it's cool. Alright, now... Now... There are two slimes that remain. I have a feeling one of them might be in the, um... The doo-doo area. NES era bullshit secrets mentality. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, you kind of have to view the game as that, as it is that. And... I think retaining the spirit of the NES cryptic bullshit is cool. I don't think you should remove too much of it. I mean, little tweaks and adjustments, sure, but... Those are the best secrets, though, aren't they? Uh, sometimes. I, they're the most rewarding secrets. Or they can be. I like that eventually you get a map to see where the secrets are. And it just guides you in the right direction. Like, so even though you know that there's a little fella there, you don't know exactly how to get it. Which might make you hunt for it a little bit more specifically. Remember that hidden door you found in Sekiro that no one knew about? No. I actually don't remember that. Chat posted a link to it. <clears throat> it's possible. I do... Oh, oh, right, right, right. I do many playthroughs of many games, so I forget lots of details. I only remember a couple of things from the Sekiro playthrough. I remember the ape. Please! This ape is gone! I remember the ape. Oh, Maze Island? Okay. Um... I remember there were two of them. I remember one of them, like, died and, like, like ripped its head off or something. I remember the dude that flew in on the rooftop and made a funny noise and surprised the shit out of me. Um, I remember the final boss. And I remember... ...an area that was on fire, like a village. 
So those are the things I remember from Sekiro. Soon, all of my Elden Ring memories will be gone, too. How could you forget about Granny Cream? I haven't forgotten about Granny Cream. Granny Cream is Granny Supreme. Granny Cream, some butter ice cream. You take the hot butter, mix it with the ice cream. Freeze it up, cool, you can see it on your screen. Put it in your microwave, make it real hot, like a soup or a dip. We call it heat and sip. Very tasty and healthy. I do enjoy that. Did you see that Hypnospace is getting a sequel? Yeah, and, and Zane is getting his own first-person shooter. Heck. Also, nice redesign of Maze Island. Vinny, did you listen to the new King Gizzard? Yes. Uh, yes. I've talked about it a little bit. I think it is a solid album. Another solid album with some cool songs on it. There's always a new King Gizzard. Yes. I already got this one, I think. Unless there's something else in here, something new. I don't see anything. North of the file? Of the tile. No. Wait, now, how the fuck did I not go up there? Oh, I might have. But the map just makes it so much easier. Who the fuck are you? It's a secret to everybody? Wait a minute. Did you take the dude from Zelda 1 and put him in Zelda 2? <laughs> what the fuck is that sprite? It's a little tinglesque. Could be a moblin. Have I done this? I might have done this. No? How- how would I have missed this? Also, good shit on making those walk throughable. Fire, reflect, protect, heal. No, I haven't done this. That is a really cool addition to this game. The spell casting via uh, books, trying to learn which spells to do in what order.
Oh my god. Oh god. Oh no, not you again. fuck have you done? You made a fucking secondary boss fight out of this dude? <laughs> That's really, really well done. Oh, no! I think I can block the fire now. Uh. Oh, God damn it. My friend, we have found a glitch. Saw dead men. I don't remember the last time I saved the game. Vinny, go to dev tools. How? You mean this menu that's over here? Control sh- Alright, that worked. Do I have to press it again, or...? So there's there's a bit more there's a bit more things to address. That is such terrible English. It is an amulet. It is green. Looks like it might slowly recover MP. Unless I'm mistaken. It does. Like, very, very, very slowly. Oh, someone's setting off fireworks. Here we go. that temple be accessible to. I think that was the temple. Okay, so... That's cool. Um, there should be one more slime. What are they celebrating? It's mid-May. Mid-May! There is one heart piece that I haven't gotten yet, no. Uh, do I want to go this way? No. Vinny, you've passed a slime on your way to Whale Island. Okay, thank you, because I was about to... 
search, like, everywhere. I think this is, again, this is cool for people who... Maybe you can look up a guide if you get stuck. I don't have a guide. I only have the developer. But it definitely gives the game more length and girth. It's just a matter of how much patience do you have to find all the slimes. Nice. But I do think it's really cool that this is in the game. It gives you a reason to explore Hyrule, and I wish I had this version as a kid, because I would have played a lot more of it. If that's even possible. I just love adventure games, says Hover. Yep, me too. I feel that. So, like, the adventure of Breath of the Wild, I thought was really good. Even if there were some things that weren't quite as good as previous Zelda formula, I just loved the adventure, the exploration. And, uh, Wind Waker. Like, that stuff was great, too, even if it was a little empty at times. But well, that's why I loved Elden Ring so much, too. It's like, you just make your own adventures. Just pick a direction, find something interesting. Maybe there's something, like, slightly signposted to you. Like, oh, that area is lit up differently, or there's a weird tower over there. So, just go there and find something. You might not even use it, but you'll find it, you'll get some experience points, and you'll feel happy that you, you found a new thing. Have you talked to Mike about him liking Elden Ring? I- yeah, I was very happy to hear that he liked the game. Because he was sick of hearing about it. Because it was like... All anyone... They could talk about. And I understand completely. I was one of them. So I missed a slime on the way to Whale Island. Oh, there it is. He said the same about Monster Hunter Rise. I only wish that... I know we have more DLC coming out for that, but man, there's, there's a part of me that just wishes... What do I wish? That... I didn't play Rise last year. And then I can start fresh. No, I'm still not in a Monster Hunter mood. Elden Fring, Saul Connected. Thank you, chat member. That's very helpful. The whole expansion is coming. Yeah. They have catch-up armor if you want to join in on the PC. Um... I don't know. I'm not... I'm not really in a Monster Hunter mood. Ketchup armor. <laughs> it's like a pickle dipped in ketchup. That'll be one of my famous lines, TM.
Well, I'll tell you what I've been playing. There's a game called Slice and Dice. <laughs> it is a dice RPG game for your phone or for the computer. I got super addicted to it. Like, really, really addicted. And um, I made a video on it that'll be uploaded at some point. It's another one of those, like, how the fuck does Vinny even find games like this moments? And it is a high recommendation. I love it. So that's the game I've been playing. Um... I don't know, what, what else is coming out? I know Live Alive is coming out in June, right? Or is that July? That's July, okay, so I have plenty of time before then. Can you pogo off of Zelda? Um, the name of the, the dice game is Slice and Dice. There's a free demo that sold me on it immediately. Hoverbats, why did you put this in the game? How dare you? This is Zelda. Sorry, this is John we're talking about. I'd like to play more of that Songs of Conquest game, which... The video of me playing it hasn't even been uploaded yet because I have so much, like, backlog stuff. Which is good because it, it means that I can just, like, enjoy my life once in a while. I like that. You heard that one? <laughs> yes, they're very loud. Alright, here we go. All 12 slimes recovered. Whoa! Psychedelic. Really nice, like, environmental sprite work, by the way. It's like, not even a whole lot of Zelda 2 original <laughs> left. and a south way, and the north way is a swamp. You're fine, chat member. Chat member, I don't remember stuff like that. It's nice to get an apology for a chat member saying a, a shitty thing in chat, but... There are people who have emailed me years later and are like, Vinny, it's been eating me up on the inside. I'm like, who, who are you? I mean, it's... It's good that you recognize... something that you don't like about what you... did or said in life. Um, that's good. But you also, at the same time, must realize that... time wounds all heals. Vinny, sorry for posting rat links. I- well, where's Rat Zelda? Vinny, I'm sorry I watch your content. I think that bell button is broken because my Grey Leno masterpieces and Orc Massage have- have definitely not done a million likes and, uh, and views. So, maybe you're not liking my content enough. Mm. 
one more billion likes. I'm sorry when I made you read my name, says a chat member named Smeg Muffin. I'm sorry too, chat member. You know that meme of the dude with the gun crying? That's me. Right now. I have to- I, I have to get rid of you, chat member. I'm sorry. I don't think Orifice Horus and Daddy's Jizzies. <laughs> I don't. I don't think those two chat members. I, I said that weird too. Uh, can exist anymore under Twitch's new policy. Like Twitch has cracked down on like jizz names. Lizard? Vinny, my account Anal Dentata got banned. Gee, I wonder why. Cool fucking mental image, by the way, chat member. So this is going to be something amazing. Maybe it is the Master Sword. Or maybe... Yeah, it's a sword. Is it the Master Sword, or is it the sword on the cover of the game? The White Sword. Wow. Well, I didn't expect that. Vinny, I'm sorry when we were playing Killing Floor 2 Alpha together, I did not successfully kill the boss when you said you would let me stream on your channel if I did. Dave, I... Apology accepted. Apology accepted, Captain Dida. Wait, can I fuck up scorpions now? So the color palette of the sword is even a little different, which is a nice touch. Vinny, look at the options menu. Attack Frenzy? Pretty cool. FYI, I don't find it very useful. Vinny, I'm sorry you don't like Chicago pizza. Vinny, I'm sorry for beating you in a hardcore hog cranking in the winter of 2004. Let's rematch sometime. Okay, home slice. So how does that chat member feel that they started an I'm sorry meme? Are they going to apologize for that in like two years? Vinny, I'm sorry I started the I'm sorry meme and ruined your chat that one night. Vinny, I'm sorry I didn't actually give you strep wine. Listen, Sin, you know you, your wine was made of strep throat. You know it! It's okay, it's funny. You don't have to hide it or be upset. At least you didn't give me a botch kebab. 
These motherfuckers don't know about botch kebabs. They know they only know about strep wine. What's a botch kebab? Well, I was at a street meat festival at uh, one point with friends years ago, and uh, it was like the San Gennaro festival in the city. And I had street meat chicken kebab. And, uh, I got, like, a tooth infection, and I got sick. Something like that happened. It was- I think it was the tooth infection. And one of my friends coined the term botch kebab, because it was, like, <laughs> botulism kebab. <laughs> because, you know, they're cooking these things so quick, and they don't really give a shit. So there's a, you know, a chance the quality control is not the highest. Just a chance. There's just a chance. Uh, the most minuscule minor of chances that the botch kebab was botched. Have you learned about the poop kebab thing that is making rounds on the internet? Fuck you, chat member, very much. I demand an apology. Also, that was a very good quest. Finding the slimes, solving their little puzzles, and then getting a brand new sword for it. I think that is a very fitting quest. Poop kebab is real. Do I have to do a diaper chief bit to get the chat to stop? Stop? Vinny, I'm sorry for manipulating your events in your life so that it would lead to you becoming a streamer and ultimately making Grey Leno. Motherfuckers don't know about the hidden Grey Leno. The what? Oh, you don't... you don't know about the Hidden Grey Leno? Well, I will say that no one has found the Hidden Grey Lenos. So... Very disappointed. And trust me when I say I've been checking. I'm not gonna read that one out loud, Des, but thank you for the apology. That's very nice of you. Still haven't found them. Vinny, I'm sorry for Bing chilling. I'm just waiting for that one person from that one convention to apologize that looked at me, dead in the eye, said, Granddad! And then ran away. That's what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for that apology. Who is that guy? Where- where is that guy? Damn it, I missed a chat message. It, it's okay. Oh, I missed, like, several thousand of them. Just in the past ten minutes, probably, but it's okay. It is surreal being able to attack these enemies with a sword now. I think that is a very good upgrade. Question, though, um... Hoverbats, developer, Devin Chat. 
my question to you is... Does it do more damage as well? Or does it just kill enemies that you cannot normally kill? No extra damage. I think that's fair. Especially if you want to keep, like, the balance of the final areas in the game. I understand and respect that decision. But you do get a cool rampage attack. I mean, it's a little faster than just pressing the button a lot. There's a guy named Ralph who uploaded a Grey Leno clip. That's impossible. I- there's only one person who can upload Grey Leno clips, and that's me. Extra damage is the level 9 attack. So you do actually go over the original attack cap, but you have to level up to it. Which is fair, I mean, it's one of those things where the game kind of gets easier as it gets harder. Because you're giving the player, like, various ways to overcome the challenges. The only frustrating part, like I said, would be going to every wise man and not having a fast travel. I wouldn't want to do that, but otherwise, I think pretty much everything is... It's kept the difficulty of the game, but still made it a little bit more user-friendly for people who, who maybe have never played the game before. So, I think you did a pretty good job with the difficulty balance, and having a couple extra ways to power up Link is good. Now, how the fuck do I get that? Do I have to go back to get that? You gotta go back. Would you recommend this version over the original for newcomers? Yes. Old comers, too. Big comers. Vinny buying any cards lately? Not really. Though there was a chat member who sent me some very cool custom 3D printed stuff. I've, I've received some nice gifts for my birthday. Including custom Lando Calrissian. Someone sent me some cool musical stuff. I got that fucking watch back. Someone sent me the GoldenEye watch that was lost. I've told the story about the lost GoldenEye watch, and the chat member fucking sent me one. A brand new GoldenEye James Bond 007 watch from the game. It's like, where do you even get that from? So that was pretty amazing. And uh, another chat member sent me some 3D printed... ...material, including the squirrel token... ...and the bird token thing from Inscription. And that was also awesome, but they included some Pokemon cards and some other, like, gross weird cards, I think. So I haven't 
really done, uh, opened them, but... Yeah, I think the Pokémon card thing is nice, but it, it's, it's not... I'm waiting for a new set. Otherwise, I don't really think I want to, like, go out of my way to buy cards anymore. Again, I still will. If there's a new set, I'll buy a couple packs, but... And it's fun, for a little bit, but I think my interest in the hobby has... has declined, and that dopamine, the serotonin, has, um... has gone away, which is a shame, because now you can get the cards at retail price. I saw some fucking doofus sitting at a table in the mall trying to sell, like, Pokémon cards for, like, three times their retail value. As if you couldn't just walk into a GameStop or Target at the moment and buy them. Fucking doofus. Vinny, you should buy gotcha- you should play gotcha games, it's like buying cards but with waifus and husbandos. Listen, again, at least the cards can be a retirement fund. Next time there's a Logan, like, Jones kind of figure, like 20 more years from now, the value of the cards that I bought last year Hopefully we'll go up if some other dude wears them around his neck during a boxing match. Maybe Creator Clash, like, 48. When, like, Son of Sauce is up there with, a like, a, a charizard Cramorant combination. Cramazard. Did you hear that he was scammed on the cards? That's cool. But yeah, I guess that's not really a hobby that I, I want to indulge in too much anymore. It was fun for a while. I like the scummy cards. I enjoy opening packs of old shitty cards from the 80s and 90s. That's fun. But... But yeah, so uh, to answer your question, I have some packs that I have not opened. Uh, from that lo wonderful chat member who sent me the cool things. And I have not really purchased cards. But I'll tell you what I'm thinking. Did you see the Lego Van Gogh set? You have to see this fucking thing. Is it Lego Addict time? This, to me, is one of, like, the coolest things ever. Lego Addict is expensive. Yeah, it is. It's even more expensive than the cards, but you get to do something. It's not like you're just ripping open packs and then, you know, putting the cards in a, in a binder and never looking at them again. But that said, this was revealed, I think, today. And, um, there's 3D elements to it, and it just, I think it looks fucking awesome. And it comes with a Van Gogh minifig. So you can have Darth Vader fight Vincent Van Gogh. I can't tell if there's only one ear, but anyway, yeah, that, it's pretty amazing. I just wanted to point that out. So there's some temptation for me to get that. But, I mean, I didn't really buy... I think there was, um, another Lego Beetle set that I didn't buy, but I got the Yellow Submarine one. I built that one a couple years back. That was fun. Yeah, it's 170 bucks. Again, not a cheap hobby. And again, the problem with Lego, too, is, at least with the cards, you can hide your shame, because they're small and you can put them in binders and hide the binders. With Legos, that's a lot harder to hide. I think Lego is less shameful than cards, says a chat member. Maybe. 
However, there is the collection aspect of the cards, which people... You're like, yo, I can flip a Charizard for $300. It's like... There are people who respect the card hustle. Someone said both are man-baby toys. <laughs> yeah, I know. But I don't give a shit. Lego's awesome. It still is. I mean, I'm gonna be playing a Lego game in a couple minutes, so... Depending on how well the Great Palace goes. So we can just, like, go up. The fuck? The hell is this? You did it. You made a fast travel. <laughs> Holding a will give a better chance. Sorry, a better bounce. Holding a will give a better bounce. Holding a will give a better bounce! I know, it's the A button. I'm just being... ...cool. Just being super cool. Alright, uh, Great Palace... Oh, I don't remember where to go for the Great Palace. I don't remember the directions. Uh... Hoverbats, did you do anything to change the pathing of this awful palace? Very little. All right. Well, the map will help. Never do anything. Never go anywhere. Never do anything. Eat a dick. Eat a fat dick. Eat a dick. Eat a fat dick. You don't want to write the song, Dave? About the, the Eat a Fat Dick song? Is the sword a bit longer? I don't know, is, is it? It might be a couple pixels longer, I'm not sure. This might not be the right way. But also, this is new. It isn't. Okay, you know what? Then we'll just go back up. Um, this is new. Yeah, uh, the lava pit there. That's new. I just played this and committed it to memory. Okay, well then, chat member, you are now my guide. Couldn't you chicken through the cock hole? Yeah, I guess you could. Nintendo's gonna sue. 
You, this is their intellectual property. Fire ropes are Nintendo's property. Friendship ended with Devin chat. Friendship established with one guy. <laughs> aptly put, chat member. Aptly put. I forgot to mention, I have some keys for Wingspan on Switch. The developers of Wingspan contacted me and they wanted me to give keys away to the community. So, probably gonna do a raffle. I don't know if I'm gonna do that tonight or next time, but... That, and I have a Dune key uh, for the new Dune game. So, I'll be raffling off a number of keys at some point soon. Okay, Nico, which way? Uh, next fork in the road, go right. Okay, thank you. I mean, I used to know this stuff. I just watched a bunch of videos about how powerful the NES is compared to the Sega Master System. There's some YouTube channel that- it's not a very popular YouTube channel, but I kind of really enjoy it. And it compares systems, power, not all of the videos, but, it, you know, there's, like, a, a chunk of them where he will go over, like, which is more powerful and why. For example, like, the amount of colors that can be displayed on the NES versus the Game Boy Color. Game Boy Color wins. Even though the Master System is a step up from the Nintendo, there are a couple things that it could do, like, it could sprite, uh, rotate. Like, easily and quickly. Um, but, apparently, per chunk, you could only have four colors. I've learned. On the NES. Like, per block. And on the Master System, it is many more than four colors. Which is why the Master System, even though it's also an 8-bit system, looks... a lot more detailed. No, it's not Jeremy Parrish. I like his channel, too. But I didn't realize how nice the Master System could look. Some of the games look really nice. I'll get the channel name, because... Maybe there's a couple people who would be interested in this shit. It's, it's like, severe nerd shit. And I don't even understand some of it, but I like it anyway. It's, um, Sharopolis. The NES versus the Master System from Sharopolis. S H A R O P O L I S. I don't think YouTube would allow the name Severe Nerd Shit. I mean, by now, I do feel very powerful. Like, way more than normal Zelda 2. But the fact that the option is there to get all this stuff... Like... You know, M- like, le uh, MP recovery... A little bit. That's good. I like the option. But I don't feel particularly threatened by this palace. But then again, I've also played a ton of randomizer versions of it, and... I've been playing this game since I was... I was four, so... 
I'm probably not the best person to judge. Have you seen the video about making a battery-powered NES? It gets funky when it's running low. No, but I'm interested. Also, there have been people who wanted me to bring back Plug and Play. And get this, someone sent me a Plug and Play, and it got fucking lost in the mail. So that's fun. Uh, but what I was gonna say was I'd love to do more Plug and Play. But that is one of the more difficult things that I do. Because you have to actually find the physical thing. You have to find one that's unique enough that doesn't have all of the same games. And then... You have to be able to capture it properly. So, it can be a huge pain in the ass. More Android trash. Well, again, the, the problem with that segment is I don't think anyone actually wants to go through Android Trash and submit it. Some would. Well, if people want to submit, you gotta submit a killer Android Trash showcase. Like, it's gotta be really good. Because we've seen garbage over and over and over and over again, and just similar garbage. It will be vetted completely, of course, but I'm just saying, like... It's really hard to do that stuff and have it be entertaining when it's that one song over and over again, and it's an endless runner. But wait, this time it's Spongebob. Wait, this time it's Patrick Star. Wait, this time it's Mr. Krabs. Oh wait, it's all Spongebob. Here we go. Thunderbird. This sword helps tremendously. I feel like the hitboxes might be even better. I don't know if it's just the sword, but... One of the big problems with that enemy w were the hitboxes. Was the hitboxes. Yeah. So, as stated by the developer, this would be a nightmare to fix. You'd have to go through and, like redo so much code to fix Dark Link. I mean, to me, it's just shocking that they left this in the game as it is. With Nintendo's, like, very strict seal of quality... Well, I wouldn't say it was that strict. What's broken? Well, look at the fight. It's just a crapshoot. There's no real strategy here other than go into a corner and press the button. Looks fine to me. Well, this sword is helping, but... I don't know, like, as a kid, it was just the worst. I guess you could look up Dark Link Cheese. I don't know, I guess the main complaint I have is... Look at, look at my attacks, and how random it is that I'm actually hitting. And it's even worse on the original. But, still... Doing this fight legit would not work in that case. Usually doesn't. 
but it has done so now, and I'm going to say that the sword helped tremendously. Anyway, that is Zelda 2. Link is adventuresome. There's still some bugs, but I have a feeling um, Hoverbats is going to work out some of them. You saved Hyrule, and you are a true hero. Can you still pogo on Zelda? Yes, but only behind the curtain. John, Zelda, and Link. Happily ever, together, forever. I think you did a great job. I think you've improved the game. To me, this is now the definitive version. I do think a couple of little tweaks here and there, of course, would help, but even so. This was a complete surprise, and it delivered. There's more gameplay, there's more cool things to find, there's some good quality of life. There's still some stuff I can't be arsed to do, but I really enjoyed it. And just the fact that it's playable on PC with um, better visuals and new tile sets and stuff, it's great. So, thank you for making this, and thank you for helping me play it. And, uh, yeah, for everyone who is wondering when this will be released, I don't know. But, Hover, I'm assuming you're going to post it on the, um, the subreddit. The Vine Sauce subreddit. Ugh, Reddit. Thanks again for playing my game. You were definitely part of the motivation to keep going during development. Damn. That's awesome to hear. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, I can let you all know when it is posted and where it will be. Alright, now New Game Plus. Oh, actually, there really is... I honestly don't know where to release it. Do you know a guy that can advise? I... don't know... It is New Game Plus, though. I have all of my levels. I was gonna say your name, Dave, but I don't want you to get fucking banned by Nintendo. Make a torrent first. That way it can't be taken down. Okay, so you want to get in touch with Dave Cap? <laughs> He's not gonna tell you how to do it, but he knows a guy who's got a vacuum shop. Ask for a Hoover Max Extract 3000. Say you need a new dust filter. But yeah, please. Please, um, release, and, uh, maybe you can even throw this onto the Zelda subreddit, and, you know... Listen, I would tell people to post it on the Zelda Geosities page, if that was still a thing, but it's not anymore. The internet has been consolidated into, like, five websites. So, I don't- I don't even really know where to post things anymore, sorry. But, yeah... Just find a place where people like Zelda, and maybe people will enjoy. And, um... Anyway, thank you all for watching. This was wonderful, and it was a nice treat. I did not expect to play Zelda 2 in the middle of the year. And I'm not going to ask... ...for a randomizer to be put into that. But I will say that playing Zelda 2 for... Thanksgiving without a randomizer is certainly going to be, um, without that version, is, is going to be weird. So...
All right. We're going to take a quick break, everybody. And uh, Star War. Did my starting soon say be right back? I think it did, didn't it? Huh. All right. Well, I'll be right back. For real this time. 